I have something to show you. Since you pushed my love aside, I'm out of my head, hopelessly devoted to you. Let's discuss. If you're musically inclined at all, or not, you may have noticed that this sounded really, really good. Like almost too good. Like almost perfect. Like the sound wave representation of any of their voices would be a flat, straight line. Almost like it was auto-tuned to smithereens. Maybe that's just what their voices sound like. Let's examine another. And ready to know what the people know. Ask them my questions and get some answers. What's a fire and why does it, what's the word? really good. So this one in particular, I examined a bit further. In a music making software, when you record your voice, it shows up like little sound waves like this. A step further, people made plugins for music software where it analyzes the exact notes that you're hitting when you sing. It'll tell me exactly what note I'm hitting right now, and it'll tell me how far off I am from the exact perfect frequency of the note in the form of cents. Absolute 100% perfect pitch is zero cents. There are 100 cents in a note before it just becomes the next note up or down. If you've ever used a guitar tuner before, this is exactly how it works. I, I don't know how to do that. Okay. Uh... As you can see, it's on pitch but varies within a few cents throughout a long, held out note like this, which is not very noticeable and normal, as you're vibrating your vocal cords and the vibrations are different. Sorry for the quick music theory lesson, I hope you remember to take notes because there will be a quiz on Friday. I promise this is useful to understand this. I isolated the vocals from this TikTok, which means I removed the piano music from it. Where is it coming from, by the way? Who is playing the piano? Where is it? Is he just like in the other room because they couldn't fit him on camera in this kitchen corner? Like, take me to church, I'll worship like a dog at the shrine of your life. I'll tell you my sins so you can sharpen your knife. Offer me that deathly death, then good God, let me give you my life. Anyway, when I opened this up in this plugin, it's a little eye opening. This starting note, this D flat 5, is at the absolute most perfect pitch that it could possibly be. It's at zero cents on the note, which you can see here, the entire way through. There is no vocal variation on this note at all. It's not impossible to hit such a high note like that on the dot just perfectly, but it's a little suspicious to the trained ear when it sounds unnatural. Like there's no wavering in her voice at all. It sounds artificially flattened. I know a lot of you can just hear the auto-tune, but I wanted to explain exactly why I think this, so I'm not just throwing accusations out there for no reason. I'm not trying to nitpick or come after these people in particular, but as a musician, to me, they're a perfect example of how not to use autotune. Aside from them constantly cutting the video halfway through the chorus, I set fire to the rain. What, like, what are you doing? <laughs> just finish the chorus. Cause they say that misery loves company. Another giveaway is how in every video, every voice is in perfect balance in terms of volume to each other. No one is louder or quieter. Everyone is projecting their voice the exact same way while they're all singing extremely dynamically, like they're belting, they're falsettoing, yet somehow flat in relation to each other. Not like literally flat, but like the, the it's compressed to sh like, what this all means when the volumes are all exactly the same at every part, even no matter if they're singing louder or quieter, that means that it's compressed, it's been edited, and maybe even automated, where you manually make some parts louder and softer. The point is, it's edited in post. This isn't just raw camera audio. I mean, it is, but only because they recorded it there to make it look real. This guy who looks like my friend Gunner TV but isn't, his performances in particular have a lot of digital artifacts. 
or unwanted digital noise from altering and manipulating the audio. If he or any of these people sound robotic to you, like Emma Watson in Beauty and the Beast, the same old bread and rolls too slow. that's because it's so compressed pitch-wise that there's barely any pitch variance. You did not break me. A vibrato would make it wavy, but a singing voice isn't usually that flat. Now what's the problem here? Who cares? People use autotune in music all the time. Well, I'll tell you the problem. The problem is, they probably recorded themselves each individually recording their part in the kitchen with headphones to hear the imprisoned piano guy. Then they sat down and edited, autotuned the vocals, could have used bits and pieces from multiple takes, then recorded them all lip syncing together, then took that, synced it with the newly edited audio, and you got a TikTok that is made to look and feel natural, un edited and raw that is actually completely edited and staged. And my ultimate evidence? The TikTok comments. They know it too. I mean, it's funny how they really tried to make it look real. The but now gave it away right away. But now robot emojis since you pushed my love aside <laughs> and this is fooling people it's great then you can hear all of your voices it's really surprising that we can actually hear all their voices at once that's because it's edited lol no it's not it is the audio is recorded and they record the video with the audio playing yes it is edited care of is a great personalized vitamin service that delivers right to your door wait am i in an ad yes gabby you you are. Oh, okay. Last year I was going through a lot of health issues uh, and anemia. Woo. And I was recommended, you know, on top of medication, other things to maintain my health like supplements, especially iron because anemia. And that's where Care Of comes in. Care Of is a personalized service. You take a free quiz on their site and it'll show you all of the supplements that might work for you. After the quiz, you can customize it even further if you want to pick and choose which ones you don't want and which ones you want to add. And it comes in this cute box with daily vitamin packets that are compostable not for you. Instead of having 12 different bottles of supplements on my kitchen counter, I can just have this there instead. Because everything I need daily is in here. Another thing I liked about Care Of is that they're sensitive to allergies. I have a nut allergy because I am weak. And you put that info into the quiz and it will not offend you with nut products. It delivers right to your door and makes my daily routine that much easier. You can get 50% off your order if you do the math that's literally half off by using my code Gabby Bell. Or scanning the QR code on the screen. Or clicking the link in the description below there are so many options anyway let's get back to auto tune not gunner tv is a dead giveaway on them he is probably a wonderful singer but every piece of him singing sounds extremely edited i know that you're wrong for me gonna wish we never met on the day i leave okay let's talk about it if you look at this overall this looks pretty fixed you know everything is perfectly aligned these are are very, very on the note, perfect. All of these are, are perfect. The thing that gave it away for me was the gonna right here. For me, gonna wish we never met. This is something that sounds unnaturally pitch corrected to me. Another piece that stuck out to me was right here. On the day I leave. Day I leave. It sounds like a digital nick in between these two notes because you can even see it here that this is extremely unnatural. This was cut up and corrected. The day I leave. It sounds like there was a cut. Just skimming through here, you know, one cent off, four cents, four, four, three, one. Like it is all edited. It's been corrected, but not quite perfect because then he would sound like T-Pain and he's kind of almost there. That part too, I can hear it. Me. Now, he could just be a human computer of a singer mixed with the talents of Charlie Puth and Jesus Christ himself. I could be making an ass out of myself, but it seems like I and many others have smelt a smelly smell that smells a little too smelly. But here's the thing. It's not the auto-tune that's the problem. It's pretending that it's natural vocals that is. Using auto-tune is fine, but when you're faking it to pass it off as real, 
it's a problem. This is like when someone brings cookies and they pretend that they baked it themselves when it's really store-bought. The cookies still taste good, but it somehow feels like you've been cheated and lied to. And now they're lie cookies. And lie cookies just don't taste as good. But what I actually find the problem here is that they're not using autotune to pretend they can sing or anything, but to adjust their vocals to be just the right perfect amount so that it can really shine. At the cost of essentially lying to the internet. You're telling me people go on the internet and tell lies? I'm psychoanalyzing a bit here, and again, autotune itself isn't lying. It's them using autotune and then pretending they aren't because they're just chilling in their kitchen with no microphone. Just them and the phone and the piano guy. Someone help him. This also hurts young aspiring singers and musicians that see this because they think it's undoctored and might be wondering why they can't hit a note that pristine. When I used TikTok more a few years ago, it made me feel really, really insecure seeing these beyond perfect singers on my feed. Why are you shocked? You've clearly been practicing this and you've probably done a bunch of takes of this. What do you mean you're- can you- can you imagine if a guitar player did that? Just like went absolutely fucking crazy on the guitar and then was like, oh, oh, oh. Especially with those staged videos pretending that they just randomly started singing. Hold me while you win. How is it I was good enough? Just casually. And now realizing that a lot of that could have been auto-tuned but passed off as real kinda hurts. Doing that shit is kinda like that girl from high school that you still follow on Instagram that facetunes the shit out of her photos and everyone knows it, everyone can see it, but she thinks she's not being obvious. Cannot believe I didn't see this one before making this video, but this one is so fucking funny to me. Here we go. I remember when, I remember, I remember when I lost my mind. Yes! There was something so pleasant about that play. A lot of the problems surrounding people's opinions on autotune stem from the idea that using autotune in your music is inherently bad. You typically see this from music elitists. Think the annoying kid in high school who idolized The Strokes and Maddie Healy, and you should not listen to them. Autotune is a tool in music. It's not good or bad. It's a pitch correction tool. Brand name, it's called autotune. Like Ego Waffles, autotune pitch correction. The tool I was using earlier Earlier is called Melodyne. It's one of the most popular pitch correction tools out there. If T-Pain is to auto-tune, then Adele is to Melodyne, generally. You use either tool to get a different effect. One can get you a sound like you're in the club during the height of recession pop, and the other can get you a more natural sound. Auto-tune itself can also be used more naturally as well. They're just different tools, that's all. Many respected artists from Daft Punk to Billie Eilish have used auto-tune or a form of it in their music for stylistic purposes, and not just pitch correction. Just like the first hit song that popularized the use of autotune, Believe by Cher. Everyone loves that song. This may be old news, but every pop artist out there uses some form of pitch correction in their music, no matter how talented they are. And don't come at me for saying Billie Eilish might use pitch correction in her music. There's a huge group of people out there that will fight to the absolute death about how Phineas says that they don't use pitch correction. No, we don't use pitch correction here. We just do it a million times until we get it perfect. And that's fine, but I think the whole overly defensive narrative of it is so lame and elitist because there's really no need. Autotune isn't a substitute for talent like what a lot of people think. These people in these TikToks are super talented. I have almost no doubt about it. So why are they even using autotune in a situation that doesn't need it? That wasn't rhetorical, I genuinely don't know. This is a kitchen not a studio or a bedroom recording. Aside from going out of their way to autotune, these people still arrange the harmonies and the parts. They practice, I'm sure of it, and must be able to sing and have a musical ear. And I can prove it, sort of. I'm going to sing really badly on purpose and fix it in Melodyne. I'm ready to know where the people are. Na 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 na, keep on dancing. See how you can see them shifting into place? Ready to know where the people are. Na 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 na, keep on dancing. I adjusted it with Melodyne, but now let's throw some actual auto tune on it. I'm ready to know where the people are. Na 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 na, keep on dancing. You can tell this was edited to sh it doesn't sound good. You need to have some basic singing ability to be able to sound natural with auto tune. Ask 
them my questions and get some answers. As you can see, you know, it's a little off, a little off, a little off. You're going to be a little off. 12, 3, 22, 15. You know, we got a, we got a variety here, especially the notes that connect between other notes can sometimes look really off in pitch correction software, but doesn't sound off to the human ear. But now if we melodyne it and pitch correct it to where everything is really, really close. You can even adjust like the pitch drift. So like, as you can see where I go, people know, it varies. It goes from the bottom of the note and slowly makes it way to the middle. You can adjust the pitch so it's all perfectly in the middle. But you know, it's pretty close overall. So let's now, uh, let's fuck it up to shit. I'm ready to know what the people know. Ask them my questions and get some answers. And now that's polished to sh Now this doesn't sound as bad, but when you crank the auto-tune a little too close to the sun, you can really tell. And if you're not Travis Scott, that might not be what you're going for. I guess I'm just taking a long-winded rant to say, What's the point of faking it here? You're obviously talented. This isn't a studio recording for a polished record. This is trying to come off like this isn't doctored when it probably is. And I'm not trying to pick out this individual account because there are plenty others that do it, I'm sure. I'm just saying they and other people who do this are probably talented otherwise. This doesn't feel like a need to pretend. It just hurts viewers, other musicians who think it's real and puts a weird, unrealistic standard of singing ability that doesn't exist without the help of a computer. Again, only when you're trying to pass it off like you're not using pitch correction. My thoughts are also complicated on this because these people haven't verbally said, to my knowledge, that they don't use auto-tune on these, but the whole setup feels intentional to make you feel like they don't. At the same time, you don't need to announce to the world that you're using auto-tune on something and proudly wear it as your only character trait. But I've also just never thought of posting a video of me singing in my room and using pitch correction just for a phone recording. It's like too much work and I don't really get it. Like those videos of someone singing their heart out in a parking garage to use the reverb, especially when their friend is there to act really surprised when their friend is really good. Like you set up the camera in the garage, like you did this on purpose. Your friends, you know what you're doing. This isn't a surprise. Or when they're in the car showing their friend a new song for the first time and they have to act really surprised and over the top. Kind of like these, like, what are you doing? Just sing, why, stop getting on the countertop, please. This feels so stupid to even be a little upset over because it's so unimportant and not actually hurting anyone, but everyone's got one of those things that just ticks them off for no reason. And this is one of them for me. This is all crossing the line between cringe music promotion and staged singing videos. Those videos and when people are elitist about music taste and auto-tune. Just be normal. It's okay to listen to the music that you like. Understandably, people generally don't like it when they can hear auto-tune to the point that you can hear it in a song that's supposed to sound more natural. The voice sounds flat and lifeless, and the auto-tune is obviously not being used with the purpose of deliberate style and feel of the song, or delivering an artistic masterpiece like Bartender by T-Pain. That might be why people are calling it out. It reminds me of how I didn't like Emma Watson in Beauty and the Beast. I love Emma Watson, but I don't think she was the right choice for that movie. It's a musical movie, and I think they should have casted a professional singer actress, because they auto-tuned her voice to oblivion. Every day, like the one before. What people don't realize is that they don't necessarily hate auto-tune, but excessive auto-tune in the wrong context. They used auto-tune or pitch correction on the rest of the musical cast and no one made a fuss. But Emma Watson sounding like Daft Punk in Beauty and the Beast does not fly. It's supposed to sound natural, which throws people off. Like singing in your kitchen should probably sound natural. Does anyone cook in here or is it just a backdrop? This comment that noticed the excessive auto-tune said it perfectly. Excessive auto-tune can be used well stylistically. The main example I can think of is Daft Punk. Hell, I don't even mind obvious auto-tune in pop songs as long as the actual song is catchy. But why would you so obviously auto-tune what's supposed to be a natural voice coming from a character just walking around their village? 
It's about the context. It just looks bizarre that this woman is literally having autotune coming out of her mouth naturally. It takes you out of it immediately. This whole thing is also complicated because the can of worms just keep opening. Like probably my nightmare. I don't like worms that much. Having that many worms in that many cans is a horrifying thought. TikTok users finding out about these people auto-tuning their natural videos is also reminiscent of when people found out that live auto-tune existed. It's live singing that's meant to pass as live, but it's been edited. Popular artists use auto-tune live, like real-time auto-tune as they're singing, typically when they're doing a sh ton of choreography. You try singing while you're in the middle of a hit workout for a crowd, but that's more so they don't mess up trying to hang sideways on a pole while delivering some high notes for the Super Bowl performance of a lifetime, then doing this sh right after. <laughs> A closer example would be how everyone felt so cheated when they found out that American Idol and all those talent shows heavily edit and auto-tune their contestants on what's supposed to be live performances. Here's a clip from X Factor UK. Every time I go for the telephone, I gotta hold myself down. Cause I just can't help myself, but you around. That's so much auto-tune on something that's supposed to be a live performance. It's not even well done. It's terribly done. If you didn't know that, <laughs> now you know. Santa's not real. Ah! Anyway, who cares? <laughs> Why do I even care? Why do you care? Why are you here? Go take a bath or something. You deserve it. As always, thanks for tuning in. I moved. Here is my new office. Um, I picked out the decor myself. I hope you like it.